Hey guys, so I'm going to share with you <clears throat> my juicing experience. This is the... Sorry if my voice sounds hoarse. It's just early in the morning. Um, so this is a juicer that I got. It's the Hamilton Beach Big Mouth. It was for it was around fifty dollars. And uh, I read a lot of reviews on this before I bought it, since it was considered I I guess on the lower price end. Um, when it comes to juice extractors, so here it is in person. Um. And just a quick tip, I put a plastic bag in this part. When you put the fruits and vegetables in in here, the liquid comes out here, but all the solidified <clears throat> parts of the fruits and vegetables come in, in this compartment. So just an easy tip for easy, easy cleanup. I read the manual. They recommend putting a plastic bag in this so you can take it out. You'll see what I'm talking about once I finish juicing. So I put my cup under this part, and here are my fruits and vegetables. <clears throat> Just a quick tip, if you are working 9 to 5 or if you're really busy throughout the week, I chop all my fruits and vegetables and wash them and prepare them the night before so I can just make my juice, drink it, and get, and get out the door. <laughs> like literally I, literally, I have to leave within 10 minutes. So I chopped everything, I put it in the fridge, and this is all my fruits and vegetables. I'm going to lay them out so you can see all the fruits and vegetables that I have for my juice this morning. Um, another quick tip is I would go online to look up easy, you can Google it, easy um, homemade juice recipes. Try a couple and then you can come up with a concoction or a combination of fruits and vegetables that you have a taste for or that you prefer of just a certain um, nutritional value and nutrient that you want to add to your diet. So this is my concoction. Um, I've been juicing for about one week now. So um, I'm going to lay it out, all my fruits and vegetables on these two plates so you can see what I have. Okay? So stay tuned. <clears throat> okay guys, so for my juice this morning, I have one chopped up apple, I have parsley, I have one beet chopped up, and I have, I think these are about two or three stalks of celery, and I have about three stalks of carrots chopped up, and I have chunks of ginger. So I'm going to juice this, and I'll let you know how it tastes. Sorry is in a very good um, frame, but I don't have anyone to assist me to help film this. So I'm going to juice all my fruits and vegetables. And just know um, a juice extractor is very, very powerful. You have to be very, very careful. It's almost like 10 times powerful than a blender. It makes so much noise. It's like a freaking engine. So <laughs> stay tuned. very very powerful um, <laughs> it's like it's crazy so, so here's my juice um, it is a little bit red I know I don't have the best camera and I don't have the best lighting either um, let me get a usually I take a knife to mix it all up so it's red right now because of the beets Ooh. And usually I like my juice very, very cold, even though I had the fruits um, in and the veg, you know, veggies in my refrigerator. It still isn't cold enough for me sometimes. Sometimes I put it in the fridge for about 10 minutes and then I drink it. So here's the juicer. And just be very careful. This is where you turn it on and off. I have it unplugged right now, so turn it on and off right there. 
um, make sure you know it's off once you have once you're done so and this is where all the solid part of the juice extracts so I'm going to take it off so you can just see see so that's all the solid part of the fruits and the fruits and veggies and it's all in there so for easy cleanup I can just take this bag out and throw it in the garbage I'm going to rinse all these other compartments off right now the only thing that I have to wash immediately is the strainer which is this metal thing right here um, it's important to wash the strainer immediately after juicing so none of the fruits and the veggies um, harden in the strainer part because if that happens it's harder to wash it out and the, you don't want your strainer to get to break down or not work efficiently in the future so in the box came this brush and it really helps with really getting all those nooks and crannies um, when it comes to washing the strainer because this is the most important part of the juicer so um, this is my experience with juicing let me taste this so then y'all can see me see actually let me get a straw as I got lip gloss on I'm about to go to work another tip is to buy one of those on the go like insulator cups so you can drink it while you're rushing to the train which I'm about to do in 10 minutes tastes good I mean usually when I make juices <clears throat> They have like a very light taste. This has a light taste. It's not really sweet. It's not overbearing. I don't know. It tastes fine to me. Like I can drink it. If it's not sweet enough for you, I recommend putting an orange or something citrus or um, grapefruit or squeezing half of a lemon. If you squeeze half of a lemon in your juice, you er, it'll just make it taste ten times better. So another thing is... Um, this drips also so usually I leave my cup right under it so it don't stay in the counter so this is my experience with juicing I definitely recommend it for anyone who wants to get more fruits and vegetables into their um, everyday um, diet or just you know into their what they eat every day so this is the most this is the best and the most efficient way for me to get uh, more fruits and vegetables into my diet more fiber more more nutrients not just on um, multivitamins so definitely definitely look into juicing if you want to be more healthy this year and if you have any comments or share your experiences with juicing share your combinate combinations share your concoctions or what fruits or veggies you like to use definitely post below I would love to hear some or any you know any if you have anything again this is your girl urban chick one and I'll see you later bye